what's up everyone uh so carter's here today with carl <laughs> uh and we're gonna figure out definitively which version is better diamond or pearl obviously it's diamond right i, I don't know man this is what we have the tier list for and it's clearly gonna be this definitive most defined version we can possibly have to have this i'm actually really excited to, to yeah. like rank things um, um this looks really cool on paper and i have literally no idea how it's going to turn out in practice so <laughs> uh, so before a uh, caveat here we haven't played the games yet we're recording this on thursday before the games are out um i've never played gen 4 either so i have no clue what's going on with gen 4 like how good these Pokemon actually are in Gen 4, which is kind of what we're rank ranking so these guys So if we're on. going off of, like, competitive play, you're on your own. Oh, I, yeah. I've never played that meta either. Um, so this is just going to be, like, general game knowledge, previous VGC formats. Like, which version should you buy? Yeah. So, <laughs> everything's thrown out the window, jumping in. Where do you want to start? I uh, think the correct way to do this is to start with the restricteds. Oh, of course. So you have your you have Dialga, you have Palkia, um, Ho oh, and Lugia. I'm gonna argue that Dialga is better than Palkia immediately because fairy typing is now a thing in this game. So as opposed to back in um, Diamond and Pearl, you weren't able to like Palkia was probably better because you had less weaknesses, but now it's going to be more balanced out because you added a weakness to Palkia that you didn't add to Dialga. Did they get rid of the extra resistances on Steel before Gen 4 or after Gen 4? That was Gen 5, I believe. So then Dialga technically has resistances to uh, Dark and uh, Ghost. That's the other one. Probably not in this game, though. Not in this game, yeah. no. So, like, the, the type chart is... Well, you were saying the, yeah, back okay. then yeah, which you're, one. You're right, so right. I was trying to think of if they had the dark and ghost resists on steel still. So yeah, Dialga's a monster. You had plus two resistances, plus one immunity, plus one weakness. Like, just off the base of, like, thinking about it. Because you were weak to ground that Palkia wasn't. But you resisted... You were neutral to dragon as opposed to weak to it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Dialga's probably always been better now that I'm actually thinking about it. <laughs> But the big thing is, like, fairies are in this game. You are going to encounter fairies. So, like, being able to have a steel type that can just hit them for stab damage probably means that, uh, you know, Dialga is going to be better. Yeah. Obviously, I think these are two of the most powerful Pokemon in this game. So, it is pretty easy just to slap them both in S tier. Just to say, yeah, these are both really good. Yeah. You're playing. You're going to play these guys, right? Like, 100% <laughs> of the box time. legendaries. You're going to use them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the other restricteds in this, uh, are Lugia and Ho-Oh that are split up here. So... I'm gonna put... I, I like Ho-Oh and S, and I like Lugia and A. Yeah. I think that is a fair assessment. Um, so immediately face value, I do think that Diamond does have the better restricteds. Not saying anything's wrong with Lugia, but I think Dialga versus Palkia is going to be in favor of Dialga. And ho -Oh versus Lugia is going to be heavily favored in ho -Oh's position. Yeah. Especially if you can access their hidden abilities on their legendaries. So it's not just pressure on all four of them. Which, like, Dialga and Palkia, like, having telepathy instead is not that big of a deal, but... Regenerator and, uh... uh Regenerator and Multiscale are real much better than, pr <laughs> than, pressure. than pressure. So, um... Speaking of pressure mods, we'll just get these guys out of the way, too. Raikou, Entei, Suicune are the diamond exclusive trio i think you can slap literally all of them in a tier and i think that was just genuinely fine all three of these are genuinely playable in almost every format that they're legal in yep and i i think that is a fair assessment to say and like even casually um they're just genuinely good imagine if they all get inner focus sure yeah <laughs> deal people just they just run people over now um I wonder if they're staying true to Gen 8 with the updates to Inner Focus uh, and stuff like that, or if they are going to move towards like previous Inner Focus before it was immune to Intimidate. From my understanding, this is a Gen 8 game. The battle mechanics are updated okay. to Gen 8. Um, again, I have not played them as of recording, so I can't confirm that, but 
from everything I've read, everything I've seen, this is a Gen 8 game. It has the Gen 8 battle mechanics in it. It's just Gen 4 limited decks. So, um, the birds. I think you can make an argument for Zapdos also being an A. Yeah. And the other ones are... I mean... Yeah, they're not great. <laughs> they're real bad. So far, it's not looking good for Look, playing man. Pearl, man. It is not looking good. But obviously, you're not playing these games with just the legendaries. There's, you know, 400 other, you know, 400, 480 some other Pokemon yeah. in these games. You're clearly not just playing them for the legendaries, but they are a big appeal. So, from there. I think I want to start at the Gen 4 Evolutions and kind of work our way backwards. Okay. Um, I think Gliscor is absolutely absurd. I think Gliscor, you could honestly make an argument to slap it in S tier. Uh... Like, it, like, if you were comparing it to non-restricted formats, uh, like for singles, this thing is absolutely absurd. If it has access to Toxic Heal, this thing is a monster. It is able to stall out. It's able to hit you immensely powerful if it does get like a sword stance off in singles um even even in doubles it's like fine obviously you do have hyper cutter so like you can be immune to intimidate that way as well so you can just be able to pound away at your opponent constantly smacking off uh stab earthquakes is still really good like this is your landerous replacement in this game if you want my honest opinion but no intimidate, right? Th that is a huge deal. I understand <laughs> that. I still think of the mons available, this is probably this is the one I'm most excited to have back. Oh yeah, we we know that. We like we we are well aware of your uh excitement for Gliscor to come back. Look, man, it's so good. <laughs> um other ones are like Magmortar. Like I feel like it's a decent B pick, same with like Electrovire. I mean, those two are just naturally going to be paired together. Um, what one does, the other kind of also does. The The big difference here is you have Flame Body versus Motor Drive. So adding an immunity to Electrifier, I think, does give it the edge. Uh, uh, yeah, granting it an immunity, I think, does make it better. Whereas with Magmortar, I don't think you have Flashfire. I don't think that's I accessible no to clue. it. no clue. To the internet. Um... Yeah, uh, I think Electrovire is going to be better than Magmortar, obviously. Uh, motor Drive is really, really big. Um, looking at, like talk, Going back to the birds for a second, because we kind of just brushed them off, like, Zapdos is the best one, obviously. Articuno and Moltres can, like, there's arguments to be made. It's like, there's less things to deal with, like, to deal with them now, so they're going to be better. But then you see Tyranitar sitting there on the screen and just, like, look at these two and just kind of just like, nope, these things are garbage. Mag Mortar. There we are. Mag Murder. We have Flame Body and Hidden Ability is Vital Spirit. Ah, so no Flash Fire. Got it. I mean, Vital Spirit would be fine if Amoongus existed in this game. Yeah. But it doesn't, and you also hit it super effectively and outspeed it, so like, sure, whatever, go away. Cool. So, I'm going to be definitely uh, giving the, the edge to Electrifier there. Honchcrow and Murkrow, I think you can make an argument for both. Um, Where am I putting them? How good is Honchcrow, really? Like a B tier? Is it better than Electrovire? No, 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 no. Super Luck is really cool. And honestly, I really like Murkrow more. Murkrow more than Electrovire? I think so. Okay. Prankster is busted, man. <laughs> yeah. Prankster is absolutely busted. And like, Especially if weakness policy is still really popular in this format, which I literally couldn't even tell you if it's in the game. I I don't um, know. I'm going in blind. I I kind of am. <laughs> like there are things I haven't looked at, but like it's like in depth things that I'm just too lazy to go look at at this point. But yeah, um, like prankster haze is really cool. Being able to reset stat drops from intimidate and stuff like that before you fire off an attack or um, let's, I want to, I am going to pull up Murkrow and actually look through it and see what it gets to do that no, uh, no other prankster mon actually has access to. In this gen? Mm hmm Uh, do we get Tailwind? Ooh. Because that's something you can think about. Uh, do we get things like... 
Let's see. Fake tears. Um, get prankster taunt. Um, we have haze, taunt, main look. We do get tailwind by level up. That's actually sick. Let's go. Um, stab sucker punch is good. We also have quash. Oh. I did not know that. That's actually absurd. Yeah, let's let's just. <laughs> I legitimately think Murko's on on par with like elect, with like Glyscor. I'm not gonna lie to you. Murko seems really really good, knowing it has access. Prankster to like... roost. Oh goodness. Okay. Uh, snarl, substitute, default. We get to do Eviolite, snarl, sucker punch, roost, flatter, screech, quash, perish song. Ooh, neat. What does Prankster Parish Song do? Any like actually nothing? Like you get to fire it off before you die, so that's cool. Yeah, you get you get to fire it off before you would normally die. What does Honchkrow get for its abilities? It gets Moxie instead. Hmm, did huh. not know that. Prankster's better. <laughs> prankster, Prankster is definitely better. Yes. Um. So, like, I think you can make an argument for Murkrow. It, it's really cool. I'm really excited for that now. Um, Let's get Skunk Tank out of here. Probably just a B or a C. It's probably, like, a B, probably? A B? I, I think I like it more in B. Um, It is a dark type that can, like, take neutral hits from Fairy while also hitting them back for super effective damage. Like, Poison Dark is a very powerful typing overall. And, like, like I used it in Monotype League forever ago, and, like, it was fine. Like It wasn't only, great, but it was fine. Like, you only have the one weakness. Um, you, have a lot, you have a lot of things that you are neutral to. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also quite a few that you resist, and, like, you're immune to Psychic as well. So, like, Skunk Tank is fine. Yeah, it's not anything to write home about, but it's fine. Um, let's knock out Perugly and Miss Magius here as well. Um, before we get into our fossil debate here. I think I like Miss Magius more than I like Honchkrow. I think I like it at the very top of B. Perugly? Or Probably. Magius? Like, what does Perugly do? Uh, fake out really, really fast. I know that. It's faster than, like, Rayquaza, if I remember correctly. I know it's fast. That's all I know about Perugly. I know it's fast. It makes no sense, and that's why. That's why I remember that, because it looks like it's so big and bulky, but it's just fast. Perugly gets defiant. Yeah. What? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is Perugly A-worthy? Maybe. <laughs> like, you have defiant, fake out, sucker punch, play rough. I like this. Uh, Hone Claws, Taunt, uh, if this is a Dynamax format, you get Iron Tail, but it's not, Shadow Claw, give us Perugly and Sword and Shield, uh, Bulldoze, U-Turn, you get U-Turn, why? Cause, it's a cat. Egg Moves, you get Fake Tears? <gasps> cool. And, Speed is 112, this thing is faster than Garchomp. Yeah. There you Why? Go. <laughs> it's a big old fat cat. I I love it in A tier. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Is it better than Glyscore? It's really close. I'm gonna call it. I, I will call it yes. It's yes. Personally, I think Glyscore is strictly cooler. So clearly, it means it's better. Ah, uh, Perugly. Perugly just breaks the mold. It's great. I I will agree. That is a really sick shiny one. Look. I want to see Ugly. It's better than the regular one. Mm. I mean, Meh. I'd rather have purple and blue than gray and purple gray. I mean, it's no shiny haunt crow. That is true. <laughs> What's your first shiny gonna be? Probably some rando that I run into. Oh, okay. There's, there's nothing I'm going to immediately hunt. Okay. Um, segway here, shiny hunting. I, I am very interested in shiny hunting the events. Because, like, Shiny Darkrai is S tier. It's so good. Um, and I don't actually own a Shaman at all. So, like, Shiny Hunting, it also seems fine. I don't know if I do either. I, I might. I don't think I do. I might. It might be on home somewhere. 
I can tell you in two seconds. Um. Well, while you do that, I'm going to make my case for why Rampardos is the best fossil. What's Rampardos? It's just rock, right? It is mono rock, but it hits like a truck. Eh, it's also slow as molasses. You can slap a choice scarf on it. Didn't we look at this before? Yes, multiple times. And I'm still sticking to that it's the best fossil. Eh. You haven't been hit by a head smash from it. I, Tyrantrum does that better. Does it? Yeah. Does it, though? Tyrantrum is a monster. And Tyrantrum also isn't weak to water. Or grass. And it four times resists fire. Yeah, but Rampardos is cool. <laughs> so in like an actual like debate, uh, Rampardos is probably like a D. As much as I want it to be good, um, its speed tier and its bulk, its lack of bulk is just really disappointing. For For as hard as it actually hits... It is just mildly disappointing to the point where it's just basically unusable. I do have one. Neat! Uh, it was from Oris. From one of the events. I didn't know there was an event. Uh, it's when they did the Year of Mythicals. I did not get involved with that. Really? No. That was the last thing I remember I remember doing just before uh, Sun, Sun and Moon, Moon came, came out. out. And then I got the Tapu Koko event. And I didn't get the rest of them. Yep. So, Rampardos, not very good in, in practice. In spirit, it's clearly S plus tier. <laughs> in spirit, that uh, spirit means squat. <laughs> Look, I want it to be good, so therefore it is. You want it to be good, but therefore it is. Let me tell you about something that actually is good. I also have a shaman. What's it from? From Sinnoh. Neat. Huh. That's actually really sick. That's cool. I had to get this from like Wonder Trade or something. But it it's legit. Cool. Um I don't know who would who would gen a two IV shaman. Yeah. <laughs> who knows? But uh Bastion. Bastion is the wall. It is our stack attacker. It doesn't mean it's good. Ow. Let me tell you, let me tell you the power of second restricted stack attacker. But see, this is the thing. It's not stack attacker. No, but it's really, really close. It's nowhere near close. Let me see here. Bastiodon's defense is. I'm looking, are... I already have it pulled up. Bastiodon has a stat of 168. Special defense of 138. And an attack stat of 52. Well, you're not using this thing to hit people. Well, that's what Stack Attack does. Stack Attack makes up for its lack of special defense by hitting people. Yeah, but, like, this doesn't do any damage. You don't need it. You misunderstand what a wall does. The wall doesn't hit you. But it... The wall stands in your way. Okay. And slowly watches you crumple in front of it as you try to beat it up. You also don't have an ability. You have sturdy and soundproof. Soundproof is actually relevant in this gen. Because it's immune to intimidate? No. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, that's lame. Soundproof is, uh, it's like hyper voice and all the sound based moves. Things like Parish Song. And so you can pair this next to your Murkrow. Well, there you go. I don't think that's very good. <laughs> no. But uh, having sound having soundproof is fine. Also, being sturdy means that you do get to survive that one hit. But you should anyway. Not always. I mean, you're not inaccurate. Like, you only have a base of, like, 60 HP. So, like, yeah. what what you do have in defense, you lack in HP. And I think that is something that Stack Attacker does better. On top of Stack Attacker having an actual ability. Yeah. Um, that's because... Boost, is strictly better than anything Bastion yeah. could possibly fathom. Beast Boost is better than almost every ability in the game. <laughs> you aren't wrong. Like, sure, let's go make a random Pokemon that has this amazing ability and we'll also give it the lowest speed because we can get away with it because it's not from this world. You do have Heavy Slam. 
Like, that's an actual attack you get. Um, past that, you have uh, Iron Defense, Taunt. You get Ice Beam and Blizzard? <laughs> this game is What's weird. our special attack? Bad. 40? Um, 47. That ain't bad. That's only five points less than our attack. Let's see. Egg moves. You get Wide Guard. Ooh. Curse. Cool. Guard Split. Ooh. It's just worse Shuckle. <laughs> eh, shuckles. That is a phrase I never thought I would say. <laughs> I don't know if it's worse Shuckle. Doesn't Shuckle also get sturdy? Yeah. But it gets contrary. Yeah. So you can make fast Shuckle. Nobody can... nobody plays contrary Shuckle, though. They're just using it for sturdy. No, you, uh, you shell smash with it. Yeah. I didn't say it was good, but it is something you can do. Huh. All right. Bastion is better out. than Revar, just hands let's down. Let's bust some more of these out. Um, um, let's see. Salamence, I think you could honestly put an S tier. Yeah, um, this is this thing's a monster. I, I don't think there's anything that you can say. The same with Tyranitar. Like, those, those these two, two are clearly, clearly S tier. This one's reason. better than this one because this one has Intimidate. Um, I think you can make an argument for Sizor also an S tier. Just because, like, this thing is absolutely absurd. It's always been absurd. And, like... Honestly, the only reason it's not as good as it could be in Sword and Shield is because Dynamax exists. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I think you could make an argument for Arbok being higher than most just because it does have Intimidate. I think you could probably put it in B tier at the very top. I think that is an actual argument you could make. Um, no, Arcanine's higher than that. Well, no, I was just like, I was grabbing the other Intimidator. Okay. Yeah, I think I think you could easily slap Arcanine also in S tier. Just because, like, Intimidate users are going to be few and far between, and Incineroar doesn't exist. Um, I've noticed a trend here. Most of the Intimidators are in Diamond. I have noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> because you also have Mawile, which is like... It's literally only good because it has Intimidate. I think it's probably on par with the other birds. Like, with Articuno and Moltres. Oh, it's better than those two. You got Fairy Typing now. That's fair. You're Fairy Typing now, so you're at least better than those two. Um, let's see. Sableye, I think you could probably make a case for, like, high A. Is it better than Murkrow? Oh, yeah. Boom. Done. Maybe? <laughs> It does a lot of the same things Murkrow does. Same like it's Will-O-Wisp. Which I think is honestly huge. Um, but like, and thank Murkrow you. can actually attack? Uh, it's probably, yeah, it's probably better. Yeah, it's fine. Um, um, we're running see. out of Diamond Mons here. <laughs> let's do some, let's do some Pearls. All right, so Nine Tails. It's your best. Um, is it the best Sunsetter? It's really close. It's obviously Torkoal, but like, I think Ninetales, you could on honestly make an argument for. Like, um, like it's actually I mean, the only exclusive weather setter, too. Yeah. There's there's nothing else from Diamond that counters it, so... The, the obvious counter is Arcanine being the other fire type from Gen 1, which mm -hmm. are version exclusives always, I think? Yep, they've always been version exclusives. Um... See, Butterfree, I think you can slap in, like, C tier. It's It, like, has Rage Powder and Tailwind, and that's about it. Yeah, we haven't hit a D yet. This might be the first one. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think you could honestly slap Rampardos down in D if you really wanted. Nah. I don't think it's good. You don't think Rampardos is going to do anything? No. As much as I really want it to, I don't think it will. I think that's, eh, that's probably about right. Yeah. Um, Ursaring, I want to make a case for Ursaring. You have Guts, you have a... Damn good attack stat. The problem is, is you're moderately slow. So, like, you could honestly make an argument for, like, this thing being a Trick Room Mon. The question is, is like, how slow are we? It's, like, 50-something? It's faster than that, isn't it? Ursaring? I don't remember. I'm looking. Um... Like, Stab Facade is kind of busted, man. Well, that's what we have Slacking for. Yeah, but this one... Gets gus, Guts Boost, too. And it has a sick shiny. Oh, yeah, the bright green. 55. I was right! <laughs> uh, 90 HP, 75 spe uh, defenses, 130 attack. So, like, it already slaps like a truck. Pack. And then, like, obviously you are weak to Intimidate, 
but you have access to facade and double edge. Um, you get belly drum, like as an egg move. So like that's something else you could do. You pair have, it with your butterfree with rage powder. You have yawn. Yawn is also pretty decent. Um, looking at like non stab moves, you have bulldoze. You have rock slide. You have stone edge, shadow claw, uh, aerial ace. Man, I, I wish we had this in a Dynamax format. <laughs> Just... Is Ursa Ring better than Gliscor? In my heart, I say no. In reality, I'm also going to say no. Okay. Is it, I think, better, I think, is it better than Sableye? I think it actually is. Because, like, in a 1v1 battle, you're going to win. Even if the, the Sableye has Will-O-Wisp, you don't really care because you have Facade. Okay. I, I mean, you have Guts. Uh, we talked about size or pincer. It's bad. It's really bad, man. Um, pseudo wudo. Did you know pseudo wudo has rattled? Yeah. Did you know you have access to beat up in this game? Yeah. Did you know that pseudo wudo has the same speed stat as uh, colossal? Therefore, Sudowoodo is obviously new colossal. No. <laughs> no. We were talking about this in the uh, the UDL server the other day. Uh, no, it was in, um, it was in DPEC, I think. Someone brought it up. I'm just like, that's adorable. I want to do that. <laughs> um. Oh, Intimidator. We have Stantler. Oh yeah. Because for some reason, a deer has Intimidate. It's about probably on the same par with Mawile. Yeah. It's probably a little better, just because, like, its stats are probably better, but it's not by much. Yeah. You're mono normal as opposed to having actual resistances and stuff from, you know, your Steel typing. typing. And steel and fairy typing, yeah. And you don't hit anything super effectively with stabs, so, like, automatically worse than most. <laughs> um, We're almost evened out here. All right. So let's see. We can talk I'm, about I'm saving a lot of the duo pairs. Let's talk about the Slow Twins. Okay. Slow Bro is pretty good. Slow King is all... I think Slow King is better. Right? Slow King is the more physically offensive one. Slow King is the special attacking, special defensive one. Okay. Slow Bro has the better defense and HP stuff. I like Slow King more. I mean, they're literally the same Mon outside of, like, a few oh, fuck stats. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, just a couple stats. So, I'm going to give the edge to Slow King, but, yeah, they're both probably about Bs. Um... Shift Tree clearly is going to be paired with Ninetales, so it has to be also A tier. Uh, there's a problem with that, bub. Uh-huh. Uh, they're in different games. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make my case. You do get Torkoal. You also do get Fake Out. Yeah. It's like... Is it A tier? Probably not. I would probably put it around. I here. think it's better than Magmortar. That's for sure, yeah. It's better than Electrofire. Not as good as an Intimidator. Like, generic Intimidator? Generic Intimidator with Glare. And, like, a decent speed stat, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give the edge to, to Arbok. That also hits it super effectively. So, like... <laughs> it's gotta be better that way, right? <laughs> um, while we're on the grass weirdos here uh ludi colo i think you can make an argument for ludi actually being a tier yeah like also fake out swift swim yeah like you're doing the same thing that shiftry does but you, you have... are grass and water and yeah you're, you're, you're not gonna get blown up by fire types because you set sun yeah and like your water types that are boosted in rain you quad resist yep so Ludi Colo's nuts. I'm very excited for Ludi in a limited dex format. I, 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 there's a couple Pokemon that I probably will be trading my wife for when we get the games, and Ludi Colo is probably going to be one of them. Sick. I love Ludi Colo just in general. I've this will be the first time when we've gotten paired up for games that I don't have Ludi Colo. <laughs> I don't have the Sapphire like exclusives all the time. Um, speaking of Sapphire exclusives. Surviper has intimidate. No, no, it, it doesn't. Does, is it good? Shed skin, poison touch, uh, something like that. Is that right? Is that an ability? I know it's shed skin and something else. Surviper. There we are. 
Um, shed skin and infiltrator. That's it. That's the only one. That's a weird one. It's very meh. It's better than Butterfree. I don't think it's better than the birds. I honestly think I would rather take a bird over This it. thing hits fairy type super effectively. Is that relevant? I mean, can the birds do that? You have to remember, the fairy types are going to be very, very powerful in this format. Yeah. Where your, most of your steel types are locked away behind stuff. I lock behind post. All right, fine. I'll give it to the Viper over the birds, but I'm not happy about it. Zangus. This one's immunity and hyper cutter. Uh, hold on. Let me scroll. <laughs> all the way to the bottom. <laughs> no, not all the way because Zygarde didn't. Like, it has all of the mons listed, ignoring the fact that, like, it's a. I- I'm on the Gen 4 page, the uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl page. You get Belly Drum as an egg move. That's kind of cool. This is actually kind of sick. Uh, and you have an awesome shiny. What's the... Toxic Boost. Toxic Boost, that's it. Okay, this thing's actually kind of busted. So what does Toxic Boost do? Uh, your attack stat is increased by 50% when you're poisoned. We still take the poison damage, though, don't we? Yes. Damn. I mean, I still think it's up there with, like, Glyscore. You have this thing a Toxic Orb. Home Claws... Uh, crush Claw, X Scissor, Taunt, Sword Dance, Close Combat, Detect. Oh, look at Close Combat. That's kind of good. Uh, Fachade. Fachade. That one pairs well with your Toxic Boost. Water Pulse? Okay. Ice Beam, Blizzard, Giga Drain. I'm starting to be confused. <laughs> Dig, Brick Break. Brick Break's nice. Rock Tomb, Aerial Ace. Uh, fling, so you can protect, get poisoned, <laughs> fling it. Now they're poisoned. <laughs> Do I think yes. it's good? No. Thunder wave. That's weird. Rock slide. Okay. Poison jab. Okay. Uh, swagger substitute. Curse. Night slash. Faint. Faint is actually kind of... Faint's kind of neat. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of on board with this I thing. like this in A. For sure. I think it's better than Ursa Ring? No, probably not. Ursa Ring... Is it better than Sableye? I don't think so. Better than Murkrow? I don't think so. Better than Ninetales? I think it's bottom tier A. Like, looking at the mons in A... It's below Ludicolo. Got it. But it's cool. Like, it does really unique things. It's better than Survivor. It's not saying much. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's saying a lot. All right. Kecleon. Kecleon. You have protein. Get, get, that, that's get down your here. saving grace. You have protein. Cool. Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. Um, Sand Slash. It's like C tier. You have Sand Rush, I think. Sand Veil, Sand Rush. Uh, that's all I got. That's, I think that's it. Because it mirrors the Alolan with Slush Rush and uh, Snow Cloak. Dude, I didn't realize how sick it's shiny was. Oh, the shiny's great. Uh, Sandor Sandville, yep. Yeah, it's about a C. Yeah, it's fine. Dugong. Like a C? It's like, it, oh. it's there. Yep. It's worse than the Slow Twins, so like... I don't know what you want me to say about I don't know. Wrong, man. It's I don't know. I don't know why it's an exclusive. <laughs> because it's the counterpart to Slowbro and Slow King. Like, you have Seal and you have... Um, Slowpoke. Yeah. Which, for whatever reason, are version exclusive. Uh, but yeah, which, for whatever reason, I, they are. I literally don't understand it, but whatever. Uh, okay. Last last potential argument for the day. Soul Rock versus Lunatone. Uh, I mean, they're both really bad. One gets fire coverage and one doesn't. So the one with fire coverage has to be better, right? Congratulations. Like, this is... They're both really bad. They're both really bad. You have Levitate? Yep. Like, that's that's literally their saving graces. They have one immunity. Yep. They have one immunity. Uh, Soul Rock gets to hit grass types with fire coverage. Gets to hit steel types with fire coverage. You also get Solar Beam. Yep. That that is something I remember doing in Ruby and Sapphire. I don't know if that's still true today, but oh, I'm you're the sure sun Pokemon. It is. I'm sure you do. Yeah, like we're the sun Pokemon. We have to have it, right? 
Dude, Sand Slash Shiny is so good. <laughs> I have actually never seen a Shiny Soul Rock. I haven't either, now that you say that. <laughs> I want to see this. Soul Rock. Okay, I'm going to do some counting. All right. This is kind of sick. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay, game. So what does is, what is Shiny Lunatone look like? We have a winner. Uh huh. Diamond has more in the top two tiers than Pearl does. But how do the bottom tiers look? Well, obviously, because there's more blue in the top one, there's going to be less blue in the bottom one. But there's also more pink in D than there is blue. It's not really saying much, man. There's also more pink in C than there is blue. Look, so definitively, Diamond is clearly the better game for your buck. Especially if you're like looking to play competitively, or oh, whatever comes out with it. Yeah, if, if you're whatever up, online battle room happens to happen, pick up diamond. And like worst case scenario, find people that you know you know online and trade for the exclusives if you want to. Um, one of the things I have heard, I have been trying to stay spoiler free, but one of the things I have heard is the online system will not be on day one. I think I haven't heard that. I think they're setting that up still. Huh. I think you'll be able to locally trade, mm-hmm. but I don't know if you're going to be able to online trade across the country yet. I I think it'll be online soon after day one, but from what I've heard, it will not be a day one thing. Huh. What? How how bad is this shiny? Oh, of what? Lunatone. Oh, I was looking at a video of how Floatzel uses Hydro Pump. I need you to watch this. It's really bad. <laughs> that is really bad. That is that is really bad. <coughs> I apologize for everyone's eardrums. You had to listen to Carter die for a second. Look, man, it was funny. How about you get us out of here? All right, man. So, so definitive that's... proof: Diamond is better than Pearl. Yep. And that's what we set out to prove. Yeah. So we did. We did it. And honestly, going in, that's kind of what I like thought. But I hadn't seen. I, I I will I will say this. I made the sprites for this, but I didn't know what it was up until I made the sprites for this. So like when I was going through, I was like, oh well, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good too. Diamond just has everything good. Like, it has a lot of really cool mods. If you but take like, if you take away Salamence, if you take away um, Stantler and put them in Diamond and just swap the exclusives the other way, Diamond could have all the Intimidators pretty easily. But it doesn't. But so it doesn't. Okay. Um, I, do, I do wish we had Salamence on Diamond. I, I do like Salamence a lot. I I honestly wish I could have Glystor. That's all I want, man. Just... Well, there, there's I'll trade you a fat cat for it. <laughs> there's a there's a trade coming in our future that I'm assuming. <laughs> no, I'm nuzlocking, so I literally can't get this thing, man. Well, I meant after. Yeah, sure. That might honestly be my first shiny hunt. That's a lie. I already have one. You already have. <laughs> I'm about to say, don't you have one? <laughs> okay, we're done here. All right, man. As always, everyone, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and yeah you know, thank that's... you thank you for listening to us rainbow belt Red diamond shining pearl this is great i'm excited it's, it's to... fun to do these one-off videos every once in a while i'm excited for the comments to just be wonderful just wrong just, just all like, of you you're wrong y'all are stupid no, yeah that's not true that's not how our community is but that's gonna be it everyone so uh we will see you tomorrow with the podcast yep. so um uh, that's gonna be our initial impressions of diamond and pearl so check that out and we'll see you tomorrow have a good one peace